What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are back on a Thursday with some more Player of the Week. So we're going to be taking a look through these. Now, as I've said for a couple of weeks, these are now targeted, these Player of the Weeks are now targeted as an entry point for newcomers. Because if you've been playing the game for a while, you're going to have a better card than a DMF Bernardo, Bernardo Silva and Vlahovic up front as a centre forward. I mean, he's good. But I don't think that he's going to replace if you've already got a, a centre forward that you're settled on, or maybe two, right? So if you are a newcomer, these are released every Thursday. They're player of the weeks. You don't need to worry about training. You don't need to worry about, um, you know, putting any anything into these cards. You can't touch these cards. You can't give them extra skills. You can't do anything with them uh, apart from just play them straight up as is, right? So they are kind of perfect starter cards if you do spin one. And you can always get a free one as well with the events. So the player that I'm kind of most interested in looking at here is probably Cancelo or else Robertson, right? So the two of these we'll get into straight away because there is a bit of fodder in this pack as well, right? 92 lofted pass, 91 curl, 90 acceleration, 88 speed and stamina, 87 type possession. Brilliant. He's on A form as well. So he's probably going to be my full back this week if I do get him, right? Double touch, one touch pass, outside curler, pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have early crosser um, with his AI playing styles. It's not, a, it's not a deal breaker on this card because of everything else going for him. And of course, he does have soul control with the double touch there and flip flap um, for that special ball roll. And then interception and sliding tackle defensively. A little bit let down with the aggression, but this is a fantastic right back card. I do have a video coming out for the best right backs for all budgets, so keep an eye on that. It'll be out in the next day or two. But this guy is a brilliant card if you get him. And that's the thing with the player of the weeks. So you can get lucky, right? You can also get unlucky. And I would say that these three, these five guys here, starting with Cristante, I mean, these are just very, very, very by the numbers, um, you know, like super, super, super average center midfielders. Now you're looking at, you're saying 66 acceleration, 63 balance is extremely poor. And I also think the fact that these guys are on A form, it doesn't really make that much of a difference with the changes they've made to eFootball 2024, right? In terms of the form and stuff. You can check out my other videos where I talk about that. Um, but this guy can play center back. So if you're using a sub tactic, yeah, fine. But he's a right off for me. This guy's a left midfielder as well. Our Turk Oglu is 90 speed, 94 acceleration, 93 uh, dribbling as a left midfielder, left winger style player, double touch, soul control, chop turn, one touch pass. You know what you're getting with these guys, but they're a dime a dozen. There's so many good wingers in the game now. I mean, they practically give you free Neymar today. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. We will talk about all these issues I have uh, with the players and stuff in the live stream later. We also have our, our goalkeeper. I mean, 85 reflexes. He's not really worth it. I mean, if you're spinning for these and you're looking to get any of the top four or five guys, fair enough if you get these guys. I mean, I probably would just use them as trainers unless you're really starting off in your game. Diamandi, again, brilliant tackling. But lads, there's just so many good players on the GP market that outperform this card. And I'm not just talking about their player skills or anything like that. Yes, the A rating is brilliant, but blocker interception area superiority. I mean, 75 acceleration with 89 tackling. It's just a dime a dozen now. There's so many cards out here. So I would say skip him as well. Mkhitaryan, brilliant on the ball. Actually not that slow of a card as a whole player. Very, very classy card. But again, it goes back to how many attacking midfielders are there in the game that are just able to do the role that he has that are just simply bought for like 50,000 GP. And then we have Mafi as well, who is our goal poacher center forward. Now, I like this guy because he's a little bit something different, right? So he's got 90 finishing, 91 physical contact and 90 speed. Acceleration is a little bit poor. He's dribbling. He's not a run and gun type player. But I do like his player skills. One touch pass, first time shot. He also has track back. That's an interesting uh, skill to have if you're playing a two-man up front that you can kind of get back and help out on defense if you're a little bit more attacking based. He's a nice card. I mean, he doesn't have much aerial ability. I know he does have acrobatic finishing, but I mean, it's a nice card. This is what I like to see with my player of the week. So I wouldn't be disappointed if I got him. Now, look, if I get any of these guys on my road to glory, if I got a free spin, that's that's a different st a different situation because I haven't been playing the game that long on my road to glory, probably about four hours on my road to glory. But on my other account, my main account, these boys aren't even, they wouldn't even be able to do the water. Like they wouldn't be able to be water boys for, the, for my squad that's there, right? So the big boys that we're looking at here are DMF Silva, then we have Lahavich. 
This guy is just average in my opinion. Everything I said about Mafi, his form is inconsistent. That's a little bit of a concern. Um, and his acceleration is poor, but it's the balance that kills him. Similar to Haaland, his balance is just very, very poor, um, even though he's physically strong. Robertson, again, like Cancelo, very good left back, all about the passing, the power, the stamina. Uh, has some good player skills as well. I do like him if you get him, but you can't train these guys with any additional skills. So that is a slight concern. Um, I know a lot of people were asking for one of these cards, like a right midfielder, Kulevsky. Um, Kulevsky. Yeah, Kulevsky. I can't pronounce his name today, lads. I don't know, I'm asleep. Um, but this guy is a very, very good card as well. And he can play, you know, central. He can play attack and he can play right flank or right wing. Uh, 93 dribbling, 86 acceleration. Again, the balance slightly lets him down, but he actually has a bit about him in the air. I've played with this card quite a bit. Not this exact player of the week card, but with this guy, and he's a very, very good player. But it just goes back to him, and there's so many better options out there, I would say. And then, last but not least, we have the high-rated Bernardo Silva. So, I would be playing him as a CMF. I would not be playing him as a DMF. Defensively, he's solid uh, as a CMF, not as a DMF. I would only, with the gameplay the way it is at the moment, the mosh pet style of the gameplay uh, in midfield, I would only ever play an anchorman or a destroyer with pretty much either blocker, interception, or just a lot of manual blocks myself. Very nice card, 97 ball control, 91 dribble and 92 tight possession, 82 acceleration with 91 balance. It's a really, really strong card. And of course, he has that unwavering form with brilliant skills as well. But we, we keep repeating ourselves. These player of the weeks now are starting to become outdated unless you are a newcomer. If you download the game today and you want good cards and you spin and you get a couple of login bonuses and you're able to spin two or three and you get Cancelo and you get Robertson or you get Bernardo Silva... They're going to improve your team and they're going to be like, oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. But, I mean, if you play the game for more than two or three hours, you don't need to spin and you can get players that you can train up and develop over time um, that will outperform a lot of these guys. These are just quick hit, you know, straight in. You don't need to mess around. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's a disappointing player of the week. It's probably one of the worst that they've released. But let me know. We will be back with some other videos. We have the worldwide ones there, the national team selection, and we also have the Spanish uh, league selection as well. And of course, we do have free Neymar as well. So we'll get into that. Until next time, lads, I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to check out the live stream later and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Peace.